Hey there Husky fans, welcome to another edition of the Husky Highlight Show. The Huskies, still looking for their first win in the post-Robert Upshaw era, hosted number 7 Arizona on Friday. It was blackout night for the UW, which was an appropriate color because the Huskies are continuing to mourn their lost season. The Huskies stayed pretty close to start. Andrew Andrews pulls up from the top of the key for a jumper. Huskies up 5-3 at the 16-12 mark of the first half. But Arizona had TJ McConnell running their show. The Pac-12's active leader in assists shows he can score too. Turns on the spin cycle to get around Sean Kemp Jr. and lays it up for two. Wildcats up 12-9 with 13-16 left in the first now. But yeah, that's right, TJ McConnell can dish it too. He finds Elliott Pitts with a no look and Pitts drills a three-pointer. Wildcats up by six. Here's where the game really blew open. Rondé Hollis Jefferson easily blows by Darren Johnson to get the lay-in and one. He made the free throw, Arizona up by nine. The Wildcats are just starting to heat up while the Huskies just couldn't buy a basket. Andrew Andrews gets in the lane but comes up empty. Nigel Williams-Goss tries to activate the floater game. Wildcats shut that down too. The sophomore tries it one more time, but the traffic in the lane is more congested than I-5 in rush hour. Nothing doing there. Andrew Andrews tries to bounce past Sean Kemp, but it gets picked off. Arizona going the other way, and it's Stanley Johnson with the lane in transition. Hollis Jefferson with the assist. Arizona up 16. Without Robert Upshaw and only Sean Kemp to depend on down low, the Huskies were outscored 26-14 to in the paint in the first half, including this dunk from Caleb Zarzuski off the Elliott Pitts bounce pass. And that was so fun for the Wildcats, they'd do it again. McConnell finds Suzuki above the rim for the dunk. Arizona on a 12-0 run in the middle of the first half to go up by 20, 31-11. T.J. McConnell again drives and dishes to Hollis Jefferson for the lay-in. Jefferson is fouled but misses the free throw. Arizona up by 22. And just for good measure, one more T.J. McConnell moment. He just flashes right through the lane like a snake through the grass for an easy lay-in. He has 8 points and 8 assists at the break. Huskies down by 19 points. We pick it up midway through the second half. McConnell fires a one-handed laser to Gabe York for the three, but he's no good. Nigel Williams-Goss with the rebound and the push in transition. And a nifty bounce pass from Williams-Goss to Quivin Winters for two. Husky's still down big, though. On the ensuing possession, McConnell with a bounce pass of his own, but Giles Dierex trying to do his best Robert Upshaw impression, getting the block on Brandon Ashley. Winters collects the rebound, whips it to Williams-Goss, who spins and dishes to Andrew Andrews, who knocks it down from long range. Husky's down by 14 now. Very next possession, Williams Goss picks McConnell's pocket for back to back stops for the Huskies. And the sophomore finds Andrews for back to back threes. Huskies go on an 8 0 run to cut the lead to 11. Dog Pack is going nuts, Romar approves, and Wildcats call a timeout. But yeah, that, that will be all. Hollis Jefferson puts an end to all of that hubbub with this dunk assist from Stanley Johnson. And you know what? Johnson can throw him down too. Mike Anderson turns it over in traffic and on the push, Hollis Jefferson returns the favor from his last dunk and dumps it off to Johnson for the one-handed jam. Arizona up by 19 now. 542 left to go. Almost 7,000 on hand in Heckhead for this one. And while they may have been slightly outnumbered, the Arizona fans made themselves heard. And this dunk thing was real for the Wildcats. Hollis Jefferson slams down another one. Wildcats are up by 25 now with 3.59 to go. And let's just let's just call it there. Arizona rolls 86 to 62, winning by 24 to hand the Huskies their sixth straight loss. It's the longest losing streak in Lorenzo Romar's UW tenure. Andrew Andrews led the clearly outmatched and clearly outclassed Huskies with 18 points and 11 rebounds. Sean Kemp Jr. had 13 points on five of 10 shooting but only one rebound. Outside of Andrews and Kemp, no other Husky had more than two field goals. Stanley Johnson led Arizona's five double-digit scorers with 20 points. T.J. McConnell did it all for the Wildcats, who had 10 points, 10 assists, five rebounds, and three steals. After the game, head coach Lorenzo Romar met with the media to discuss what he's telling his team during this six-game skid. Each loss makes it more difficult, but uh, you know, you say it, after a couple losses, it takes one win, and it kind of gets your mind right. And that's what we're looking for, for that one win. And please don't mistake uh, my lip not being on the floor for uh, it's not disappointing. It's, it's very disappointing for me. Uh, I'm just not a moper. But uh, there's not too many minutes in the day that I'm not thinking about this, how to uh, right this ship, to get it right. So we got to look for that one, then we'll go from there. 
for all of our UW athletics coverage around Montlake, check us out online at dailyuw.com sports.